My sister Magda, who loved her hair, she didn't leave the house until she would turn around in such a way that her hair would not, God forbid, move. So when we arrive, I don't know what's happening. I see the sign. I see us being pushed around. I see me not being treated as a person at all. And I don't know what's going to happen. We are shaped. Magda had hair in her palms, crying. She asked me, how do I look? And that's when the choices come in. Whether you choose to point out what's wrong with someone, whether you choose to point out what's missing or and, and luckily, somehow, I realized that I became Magda's mirror. I better tell her what she still has. And I didn't lie at all. And I said, Magda, you have beautiful eyes. And you know what? I didn't see it when you had your hair all over the place.